Hey yo what up guys, so in this video we are going to be talking about what is trending right now in the Nigerian space, like the Nigerian internet. And one of the biggest trends right now, we all know football like is the main thing right now. And guys, there was a guy like this guy went to prank Victor Simen and the Super Eagles guys in their hotel. And this thing happened, it was actually very funny. And I'm going to be showing you that video. Then also, we're going to be showing the video of, you know, when the vice president, you know, the vice president of Nigeria, you know, went to see the last match, which is against South Africa. But something happened when Kanu Wanko was in the dressing room. So Kanu Wanko was there hating everybody. But there was somebody that was seen not happy, and which was Iwobi. And I'm going to be showing you guys that video also. Then also, I'm going to be showing you what Shen Kuti had to say about the boys. You understand what he said. And I'm also going to be dropping some more trending videos videos on the internet space guys so starting with victor osimen and the super egos guys so this guy came out there and this guy pranked the super egos and this was how the prank went i want problems always <laughs> god have mercy upon us i'm telling you look at my face like i could have killed a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? man? <laughs> 70 years old man. And where is this man, man coming from? <laughs> in the smoky book. <laughs> in the tag in the <laughs> Hold this man in the first place. Hold this man in the first place. Hold this man in the first place. Hold this this evening you will die. Madman. I said you are a madman. And I mean it, you are a madman. Why are you running? Why are you running? Are you a madman? Yeah. You are a madman. Madman. Um, a lot of people have been reacting to this particular prank and guys what cracks people up you just have to drop on the comment section what cracked you up in the particular prank guys for me it was victor simen you know victor simen's one was actually very funny then also guys this video that was trending online saw kanu wanko a lot of people have been calling kanu wanko to support the boys kanu wanko finally came out to support the boys guys and you saw him hailing everybody and this guy was very happy to be there he was happy with the boys you understand happy with their performance and you saw him healing everybody but there was somebody that you could see that was not very happy which was Iwobi so just watch the video So as you could see guys, everybody was sharing all but Iwobi, Alex Iwobi was not really happy, you understand? Probably he was not happy with his performance or probably he was not happy with what he was seeing on social media because this guy, you know Nigerians if you mess up, you know they will blast you but definitely if you do very well, you know Nigeria will sing your praise like never before. Just the way they are singing the praise of the goalkeeper right now guys, the goalkeeper is on everybody's lips right now. So nobody knew why Iwobi was not happy but this guy has been collecting bashing upon bashing since the beginning of this tournament you understand because his performance has not really been up there so this guy has been collecting bashing even me too even me too i've joined to bash it will be but i'm just going to tell you guys let's tune it down 
you understand because we need all our players we need all the nigerian players to be in the best frame of mind you know coming to the final so everybody tune it down you understand so that these guys can perform their best then also chenkuti trained dead before you know after the first match because he actually said he had an experience with the super egos but not this year super egos and what he experienced was the super egos taking fufu before they play matches guys and Omo, this guy finally came out to say this about this present super egos and this was what he said yesterday was a great game and before i continue let me just say you know let me just say that it is obvious this set of super egos are not eating pounded jam before the game maybe they ate pounded jam in that first match but after i come outside let them know say Nigeria is not working for anybody. Maybe nobody cut us say because NFA is like this. Because the, Nigeria is not doing good for anybody. We do what we do because we love our people. Come up. Let's see the year my yabis. They don't cut out the Panadian. They don't cut out the Panadian. Yes, yes. And truth don't post say after game, many the chopper now. It's after the game that they are eating the Panadian. Which is good, but don't eat it too much because if you not carry extra weight, go back on the club for <laughs> Europe <laughs> when you go play. Oh. Uh -huh. But Panadiam after game is okay. I, 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 I personally I approve of Panadiam after the game. After the game, yes. Better one. Yes, I approve. I approve. But truth, that Egusi did not look. Who they cook their goosey for now for that please? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Please don't feed our boys such a goosey. Mm -mm. And that padeja look like poundo. So guys, what can you really say about the present Super Egos? A lot of people have been saying they, were ju they are just lucky, but a lot of people have been saying they are doing well, like they are doing very well. I mean, I believe in the game of football, there is nothing like luck. These guys have been consistent. So just drop your opinion on what you think they have been doing so far. Then also, we had all these trending videos on the media space because of what they were doing. Like this guy was doing funny things with the ball or fufu, you know, which he assumed to be a ball. So just watch the video and tell me what you think on the comment section And also this girl jumped on the trend because of what she said about girls and she was talking about girls and guys also so this girl trended and a lot of people reacted and i'm going to be reading the reaction of a lot of people but just watch the video of what the girl said so your husband cheated on you that is the reason you left your home <laughs> are you not funny you are funny you left your home your matrimonial home because your husband cheated on you outside not like you brought the woman home you didn't see him with this woman he didn't do it to your face you were the one that was choo -choo 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 around and you chewed into his phone and you saw what your eyes not supposed to see and you packed your things and you left this man is taking care of you he's taking care of the kids he's showing you love like he shows you love but because he is cheating or cheated on you you decided to leave How? you see that person is advising you to leave or that advised you to leave that person does not like you tell me your husband is beating you leave tell me he's not taking care of you or the children he's not living up to his responsibility i'll tell you brown but not that he cheated on you that is why you left him or you are planning to leave him it doesn't make sense my darling the grass is not greener on the other side don't let anybody deceive you yes 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 don't get me wrong we still have good men that will not cheat but it takes the grace of god it takes the grace of god for a man not to cheat have you gone outside have you seen these girls outside have you seen them
So guys, you could hear what she said and a lot of people bashed her, a lot of people did not agree with her, in fact more people did not agree with her. I know she was expecting, you know, girls to come out and say she's right or guys to come out and say she's right, but this was what they had to say. Parents, show your female children undiluted love at home so they will know their words and not come online to disgrace you like this. Because it is not a deal breaker for you doesn't mean it is not for another person. Start your car and they go. This one husband is sitting on her, she's just consoling herself. Uh, second wife picking, don't set ring light. Must be that your mom didn't set the right precedent for you. This is just a coping mechanism for those suffering from trauma. In no word is it proper to maintain a relationship where you are constantly competing with other Others for your significant other. A man would not tolerate it, neither should a woman. So guys, what do you think about it? So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, you enjoyed the video because you watched it to the end. So hit the subscribe button and like.